again, everyone, Keta Kostman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, here to give you a wonderful update on plywood and OSB prices. I've had a few people asking me to report on panel, which is a very good idea. It is a different uh, animal than dimension lumber. A sawmill is not a panel mill. A uh, plywood or OSB mill is quite a different thing from a dimension lumber mill. Your feedstock is different, different kind of logs, different manufacturing process, uh, different materials needed to produce, and a different application, different end users. There's uh, quite a few uses for plywood especially, but also OSB that go beyond home building. You know, two by fours used for construction framing. For other things as, to, as well, but mostly for construction framing. While plywood and OSB can be used for many things, plywood, for example, concrete forming, uh, a lot of different uses that don't necessarily depend entirely on what is happening with housing starts. And so we have a similar slowdown in selling of plywood and OSB that we had in Dimension Lumber, as I just explained in my previous video. So the price right now, the benchmark for panel, we use OSB, Oriented Strand Board, Ontario, 7 sixteenths, and these uh, Madison's prints in Canadian dollars. Everything, all the Dimension Lumber, Cedar, everything is in US dollars, but just the plywood and OSB are in Canadian dollars per thousand square feet. And so OSB 7 sixteenths in the central zone, which is Ontario, is flat at Canadian $420 per thousand board feet. And plywood, 9.5 millimeters in Toronto uh, zone, is uh, down slightly to $705 Canadian from $717 the previous week. So a good moderating of the marketplace, similar to what's happening with Dimension Lumber, studs, all of these other items as the normal seasonal slowdown is upon us. So let's quickly look at some graphs and I'll tell you in more detail what is going on. And this is the graph uh, showing historical trend for OSB oriented strand board Ontario 7 16th. It looks like that Western Spruce Pine Fir 2x4 graph I show you all the time because my dashboard can generate this information for any of the 500 items we track every week, the graph and the table showing the year over year changes. So what we have right now is this item is uh, Canadian $420 per thousand square feet, and which is flat com compared to the previous week and is up by $5 or 1% from one month ago when it was 415. When compared to the same week last year, when it was $585, this week's price is down by 28% or $165. Compared to two years ago, when that price was $960, this week's price is down by $540 or 56%. You can see that these changes are similar to the dimension lumber prices in my previous video. And moving straight on to plywood, we consider the benchmark to be Canadian softwood plywood out of Ontario, 9.5 millimeters. And the price now is um, Canadian $705 per thousand square feet, which is down $12 or 2% from the previous week when it was $717 and is down $34 or 5% from one month ago when it was $739. When compared to the same week last year, when it was $559, this week's price is up by 21% or $146. And yet compared to two years ago, when it was $766, this week's price is down by $61 or 8%. And this just demonstrates what I'm saying that, especially plywood, but all panel, can be used for other things besides housing. And these prices do move sort of in tandem, but also have their own reasons for going up or down. I really wanted to just show what I'm talking about here. So this is that Western Spruce 2x4 price that I always show you, the red line, against that benchmark OSB price, which is the yellow line. Keep in mind that dimension lumber prices are in US dollars, that's the left axis and uh, OSB and plywood prices are in Canadian dollars, that's the right axis. But you can see by the graph that the trend is the same. 
So in the second, second quarter of 2021, and all the hysteria of people trying to claim that there might be some kind of collusion or the companies are being dishonest, Dimension Lumber Mills and the companies which manufacture them are not the same as the panel mills, the plywood and OSB mills, and the companies that manufacture that. So it's an entirely different segment of the industry, but the demand was such that these are the prices responding to market conditions, both dimension and panel. Okay, great. Interesting, right? So if you noticed at the beginning of this video, I had a little animation. We are celebrating our platinum anniversary, uh, 70 years. The first issue of Madison's was September 15th, 1952, started by Peter Madison. I'm the third owner. And we're having a month long little promotional fun thing on social media to show uh, old issues and uh, to highlight some of the wonderful new products that I've brought on since I became owner in 2008. And so here with the uh, video that I'm talking about right now with the plywood and OSB prices, uh, the similar situation, as I said, with um, Dimension Lumber, that there's a bit of a slowing down at this time of year. Now, the thing with panel is that there is much fewer producers, right? There is a lot, a lot of different companies with many, many sawmills making Dimension Lumber, but there's much fewer companies and most of them are privately owned or not publicly traded and a little bit more able to make uh, sort of strict decisions on slowing down production and keeping the supply with the demand. So traditionally over the decades, that's what happened with plywood and OSB and why those prices never uh, sank down and stayed depressed so badly as the Dimension Lumber did during the downturn in housing in the US from 2006 to 2018. Okay, great. And so there's just a little snapshot. People who want to see the full story, all 500 individual softwood lumber and panel prices that we cover every week and want to see them that week, not on a lag uh, of a month or longer before I have time to make a video or before I put it on the website, subscribe to the newsletter. Go onto my website. There's a link here in the caption. You can fill out a form. We'll send you a sample issue showing you what the prices are right now and you can subscribe to the full dashboard it's us 989 dollars per year for a single user email you get 500 data point updates 50 times a year plus the commentaries 1200 words explaining uh, western spruce eastern spruce douglas fir kd fir southern yellow pine cedar plywood osb and boards 12 different uh, sections of the market, giving you a week by week, right on time update of market conditions and the price. If you just need to see what's going on in a overview like this on my YouTube, then subscribe here on YouTube to get alerted when I make another update and definitely click like so that other people will have the chance to see the video also.